to cut a jig and cut hexagonal <laughs> coasters. Yes, I had to practice that word, hexagonal coasters. Let's go. Okay, to turn on the compound miter saw, you flick on the on button is at the top and you squeeze the trigger, the handle, you squeeze it and that rotates the blade to cut the wood. Right now, I'm putting it to 30 degrees. On the handle, you will see a blue lever and you squeeze that and that releases the tension and then you can move the blade to 30 degrees. There's also a knob you can tighten it so it doesn't move on you. Don't worry, there are only two measurements you need to take. And the first one is you're going to mark the center of your board. Mine is three and a half, so my center line is at the two and a quarter mark. Make sure you cut through that line. The piece on the right is about six inches long and that is going to be my jig. And then the one on the left is my first cut on my coaster. Measure the distance from the center line to the short edge of your board. When you did that 30 degree angle, there's a long edge and a short edge. Measure from the center line to the short edge of your board. Mine is two inches. Flip your coaster and transfer the measurement. I measured two inches from the edge. When you flip the board, put the short edge against the fence and measure the short edge two inches in. There's a shorter edge and a longer edge and you want to cut, you want to mark where the short edge is. Okay, that was easy, right? Now we're on to the second cut. Hey you, yes you, pay attention. I see your eyes glazing over. This is it, you're almost home. Make another 30 degree cut and do not lift your coaster from the miter saw bed. We're gonna take a pencil and draw a stop cut line on the bed. See, easy peasy. Take your jig, the board on the right hand side, and line it up with the pencil mark. Clamp it onto the miter saw bed. Now you are all set up, ready to cut coasters. This is really quick and easy. You can do this. I've got you. Your jig is all set up. Now you just have to start cutting. Don't worry. I am going to walk you through the process like four times. You'll be like so sick of me, but you'll get the hang of it. Line up your 30 degree angles and make your second cut. Rotate once counterclockwise and make your third cut. Rotate counterclockwise twice and make your fourth final cut. Line up your 30 degree angles and make your second cut. Rotate once counterclockwise and make your third cut. Rotate counterclockwise twice and make your fourth final cut. Line up your 30 degree angles and make your second cut. Rotate once counterclockwise and make your third cut. 
rotate counterclockwise twice and make your fourth final cut. Line up your 30 degree angles, make your second cut. Rotate once counterclockwise, make your third cut. Rotate twice counterclockwise, make your fourth final cut. I'm participating in Sammy's Try It Tuesday. I took a project off my bucket list and tried it myself. The co-host is my bestie, Indy Annie Jones. Both Sammy and Annie are so supportive and help smaller channels like mine. They are so kind, creative, hilarious, and unique. You need to go check them out. Then there's also, for more inspiration and ideas, there's a whole playlist. Go give them some love and support. If you see what you like, if you like what you see today, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's chat. You, me, down below. And on Friday, I am releasing a new video, and you do not want to miss it. It's going to be my best one yet. Yay. So come on back for some more. I was inspired by three channels. My first one with the jig was Builders S.A. And then I took those hexagon coasters and I mod podged them. And that second DIY was inspired by Sandra at Schwoen's Nest. And I also saw Jamie, Simple Root, Simple Living, using this technique. DIY number two. Decorating those hexagonal coasters. Let's go. I'm taking a piece of deli paper and I'm using masking tape to just tape it onto a regular multi purpose piece of plain white paper. Um, deli paper, I use that instead of tissue paper because it's cheap. You can get it at like Costco or Sam's and you can get a big box of it for really cheap. And it's a little bit more, well, it plays better with liquid or water and I'm definitely a water baby. So I like to use deli paper. Um... The one thing you can't do is like wet it with a paintbrush and then rip it. Um, you'll see me, I'm going to use scissors and uh, yeah, and fussy cut it out because who doesn't love to fussy cut? Not I, said Sandy. I'm taping it all down. I don't want to get stuck in my printer. I'm going to take it to the printer and then I got a freebie and I will link it down below. I got this gorgeous freebie from the Graphics Fairy. They're a great website. They offer all kinds of freebies. So much fun. Go check them out. And then I just print this off. And I add Mod Podge to my coasters. And um, yeah, call it done.
Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. And thanks, Sammy. Thanks, Annie. And don't forget, Friday, big day, big video release. Love you. Bye.